All right, our next speaker tonight is a researcher, a game designer, and an advocate of open technology. Please give a warm welcome to Greg Austin. There's lots of amazing movements happening out there, um, but a lot of the times, each of these movements only sees their little piece of the picture. But I think that there's sort of a bigger picture that I like to call the awesome new world. Um, it's some place that I'd really like to live in, and maybe you'd like to live there too. The awesome new world, first and foremost, is defined by people. People who share first and ask questions later. Uh, people who like to talk about technical details, sometimes to the point of being obsessive. Um, People assume that others are fundamentally good, even if sometimes they're not. Uh, people who think that money is a means to an end, not as a means in of itself, and who take responsibility for the actions they take and take part in. They want to do something meaningful, and they can't help but tell everybody around them about it. Uh, they also tend to be genuine to the point of seeming awkward. Sometimes they're called makers or hackers or geeks or nerds, but it doesn't really matter what you call them. But in the awesome new world, being in this group really isn't enough. That's because these folks have to self-govern, self-promote, and self-organize. And knowing just the technical details isn't sufficient for that. The awesome new world is full of abundance. Abundance means the pie is big enough for all of us and always growing. And not in a wishy-washy, fairy tale kind of way, but in a this is actually the way the world works kind of way. The sense of abundance comes from the fact that they have a personal connection to the means of production, creativity, and innovation. It's hard to feel scarcity when you feel like you can remake the world around you. And without scarcity, competition becomes a game instead of a way of life. Zero-sum games have mostly disappeared. Personal-scale manufacturing, 3D printing, massive sharing of knowledge means that people expect technology which is self-empowering, not black box. And it means that communities, for the most part, uh, whoops. <laughs> communities, for the most part, are, uh, interact with each other because they want to, not because they have to. And if this sounds impossible, um, you should talk to one of those groups and, um, and change your mind. That's, this is actually an old version of the talk. Um, but that's okay. <laughs> um, so research focuses on human scale production, um, where both the maker and the consumer, oftentimes the same person, um, know what's being produced. Uh, and um, the evolution of knowledge is no longer contained in a patent, trademark, or copyright. Uh, scarcity has no place, and the proponents of scarcity have nowhere to hide. So the idea of... Uh, the idea of... Um, the tragedy of the commons has been replaced with the logic of the commons, which is personally very exciting for me. So this awesome new world is getting here faster than you think because of time, people, and technology. And, and I'm the little guy in, in the back. That's kind of how I feel on a daily basis. <laughs> But the accumulated habits of generations of people who grew up in the old way of doing things will probably have to change conversation by conversation and person by person. And that's a lot of heads to pull out of the sand. But you, you are lucky, because you live in Ann Arbor. And there's tons of amazing people in Ann Arbor who are trying to make this awesome new world a reality every day. From A2 Geeks to All Hands Active to Maker Works and Rocks and Robots and mo Brain Monkeys and all kinds of other amazing folks. Um, who, if you talk to, they might just blow your mind. And if you put all the pieces of your brain back together, you may find you become a part of this awesome new world. Uh, symptoms include an overwhelming desire to make, do, and share, a loss of fear that other people will steal your ideas, and a genuine hope that those ideas will come to fruition any which way, a desire to invest in shared tools, resources, and, and people, and you may find yourself spending more time than you ever thought possible making something you can buy at the store, but know that that time was well spent. So set share as your default setting. Um, and believe in abundance. 
so that if share and trust break down, um, you don't fall into the pit of scarcity. So when you're building your first 3D printer, or you're contributing to an open source software project, uh, or you're submitting to uh, open journals, and people ask you what you're doing, you can say, I'm building an awesome new world. Want to help?